In this video, we'll learn about giving cursor any tool you like without using MCP servers. Let's ask it five different tasks, which it will use, uh, utilize its tools to answer. Look, it's actually calling all the tools at the same time, including calling the GPT API to get an answer. So within these tools, you can actually call the GPT API. So it has gotten the first four correctly and is calling the GPT API again. Uh, because there was an error and it got the answers and now it's answering. So uh, it was able to call five different tools, simply defined as super simple functions in this tools.py file. And this is all facilitated with a simple general rule. And that's what we'll be talking about. So the idea here is very simple. Reading MCP servers is a hassle. It's really complex. And why should I host an MCP server when I just want to make a simple API call or some function with some database operations. So here is how we can do this. Just create a simple tools.py file and define your functions. You don't even have to actually have uh, doc strings here, just any function. The important thing here is that uh, you, you, the, these functions actually need to print uh, their outputs and not return them. The reason is because, um, let's actually fix these. The reason is uh, only the print statements will be uh, available to the agent because when the agent calls these functions, you will be able to see the terminal output of those functions. So just keep that in mind. Simple functions uh, where the function is actually printing its output. So you can make any API call, make any database query, connect to any other tool on the internet. If, as long as you define your function right. So that's it. You can have as many functions as you like. I chose the file name as tools.py, but you can choose anything you like. And then we now need to create a rule for it. So I just came here and added a new rule, which is general MDC. And I've set this to always so that with every request, this will actually be taken into consideration. And I've given it a simple instructions. You have functions which you can use as tools. They are in the tools.py. Here I have referred to the tools.py with an at command, which is in the current working directory. When you actually, you can just say, use these tools when they're needed. So actually this, this is plenty sufficient, but this will cause uh, agent to read the tools.py file because the contents are not available. This is all you need really. But I went ahead and uh, added some additional instructions, such as use multiple tools with a single CLI argument when appropriate. As we have seen, it has called all the tools in a single call. This will actually accelerate your working, uh, your, your process. But sometimes it will still call the tools one by one. Uh, here it's doing that. That's why we added the sentence, but you can actually uh, make the sentence better. See, it's calling the tools one by one. And then we just simply give it a list of the uh, tools, print Fibonacci, uh, these are the function names. Alternatively, you can just copy paste this entire uh, tools.py file here. This also works, but this makes it nice and neat, uh, easy to understand. So that's about it. You can give any tools you like to cursor. Also, if you'd like to learn more about this, I created a more detailed in-depth video uh, about this at my 1000x cursor course link for that will be in the description uh, if you do become uh, if you do join my patreon ai community you will have access to my 1000x cursor course with 45 independent chapters and also will be able to join my 1000x led live meetings also 400 over 400 interesting and fascinating projects let's take a look you can also find all my free videos at EchoHive AI Academy, echohive.live. And if you're a patron, you can get the uh, project files really conveniently by just clicking on it. It'll take you to Patreon. And this is my 1000x cursor course. Thank you for watching.